Hey people, welcome back. We are the Dude Pool Crew, and this is the Dude Pool Games Cast. I'm the host, as usual, the Dude 250, Nikki D, hanging out with my man, the best friend, my homie, my heterosexual life mate, Taylor, the video game, Schwarzenegger Sager. Hey guys. Known online as Aliens Exist. And we are back this week with another topic. We're in the middle of uh, the summer slump. Not a lot gets released around this time, so mm-hmm. we thought we'd talk about Game of the Year candidates so mm-hmm. far, mm-hmm. and possibly upcoming ones that we have yet to play. So, let's get right into it, shall yeah. we? Yeah, let's do that. We're going to scroll down the list here. I think. The f- okay, so starting in January. Oh. Ba, 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 January's up here. <laughs> Amplitude we played. Amplitude, great. Not great. Game of the Year candidate, no. but fucking cool. That Guitar Hero game, which I don't think came out this year, was better. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. Uh, let's let's see. What's the first big one that I can see on here? Do, do, do. We got... It was light. It was light. I didn't play The Witness. I did not play The Witness. I've heard really, really good things. Um, I have as well, but it's just expensive for a puzzle game. Yeah, I, yeah. Feel, I feel like that too. But I mean, it took them like seven years, and apparently those puzzles have a lot of thought yeah. put into them. So I, I can imagine that uh, that it's worth it. The big one that came out in January that, that will be on probably the game of the year list is Rise of the Tomb Raider. Rise of the Tomb Raider. The Tomb Raider yeah. has risen. Think about picking that up on Steam tonight, actually, in... Uh, and giving busting it a, through that, giving yeah. it a play, but nice. uh, I have not tried it yet. I've again heard really good things. Um, I, I I guess it's another just sort of sort of like the last one, but a lot of extra stuff into it, a lot of yeah. extra added stuff, which all of them I, I've I've heard are, are good. No, well, it's well it's done. supposed to be a fucking really really good game. I I can't wait to get my hands on it. I just haven't yet, yeah. but I intend to. So when I do, yeah, then I'll make my decision there. But yeah, let's move forward here. We're in February, and in February, the big one, X-Par- XCOM 2 is another one I didn't get to play, but I really, really like the first one, so I want to get my hands on that one. Yep. Uh, but let's stick to ones that we did play for now. So Firewatch. Firewatch was great. I'd throw that on my game of the year. Yeah. The Candidates, I don't think it would win for me personally, but I'd throw it up there in the echelon of the game of the year candidates. Yeah, yeah, it's up there. Those, it, the voice acting is insane. It yeah. was really, really well done, and I'm never... I've, I don't really get into those kind of games that yeah, often. The they've gone home. Yeah, the yeah. walk. I don't like to call them it. It's a negative connotation. It is, it's yeah, it's it a story-driven adventure game. Very story-driven. what I like to yeah. call them. Non-combat. No, no it doesn't matter. Yeah. if there's. Yeah, absolutely. It's just a story-driven sort of a, an adventure yeah. Uh, game yeah. uh, that I, I really liked. It was a beautiful setting. I liked turning the map off and just figuring yeah, out that was where, cool. where the hell I was going. It was neat. Mm-hmm. Super cool game. Don't think it's going to win game of the year because there's some big ones this year. Yeah, yeah. For a little indie game, though, that thing blew me away. Yeah. Uh, Street Fighter V, I think, deserves a nod because of how well balanced it is and just well put together. I think it's way better than 4 was. Yeah. Uh, I think I got into it more than the last probably fucking five Street Fighter games that come out. Like, I, I, I really yeah. enjoyed it. Yeah, it's certainly one of the better ones. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, you, even though it didn't have a lot of the things that normally come with the fighting game, I didn't really need them. I mean, right, like the it story was, mode was Yeah, who lacking. fuck cares? Who yeah, fuck but cares, they though? never do good ones, yeah. in, in my opinion. The, it was all about the online fighting for that game. And yeah. the... And the, the uh, Esports community. Exactly. That's a know? tournament game and a competitive fighter. Yeah. So you're either playing your friends or you're playing random people. Online. Yeah. And they did that really well. They did do that really well. Uh, <laughs> after that, we got, let's see, Far Cry Primal was another one. Yeah, that was that, a great one. I, I don't know if it makes my game of the year list, but it, I, I think it deserves at least a bit of a nod because it was, it was fucking cool. It was amazing, yeah. It's it, uh, the that stuff about the map kind of threw me a little bit about it. Um, well, how they just kind of copied like the layout, copied but the exact layout. That, yeah, I. That being said, I was on it again last week, just playing through it, and you you couldn't tell. You couldn't tell. They no. remapped everything, and there's yeah. cave systems that weren't in there, and all yeah. this other shit. Like I didn't. I don't feel like I'm playing on that same map. No, ever yeah. at all. And there's there's different mountain ranges and stuff like that. Yeah. It's really just the outline. Exactly. It's, yeah. It's the same, but. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It just kind of rubbed me the wrong way, I guess, when we heard about it, which totally. is just one thing that I guess I think about when I when I think yep. about that game. Yeah, is, I'd agree. Yeah, just I just just a little bit disappointed. Yeah, uh, but I ne- really enjoyed the it. next big one after that, the division. 
Oh, fuck. I, I wouldn't put I that on. I think that was a it. massive disappointment. It makes me angry just thinking about it. Yeah. It, yeah. No where end where was the end game? Yeah. And Come on, guys. Yeah. They really but it was, fucked up. It was good for what it was. It was fun playing with friends. Yeah. Um, I think that's what, what kept us in it for so long. Is just It was something to play with buddies. You the had time. the community. It came out in, yeah. a, in a pretty slow time. Yeah, um, exactly. For, for the PlayStation, we didn't have Rise of the Tomb We had like 10 friends that played it, so yeah. it, was, everybody it was cool. Fucking bought we, it. Yeah. we did play it for a few months, and we definitely got our hours worth, so I don't feel I got ripped True. off no. in any way, shape, or form. I just don't think it was the long-lasting... Yeah. MMO type of a game no. that we were looking for out of it. Yeah, I wanted it to be better than They needed class-based systems in terms of, like, you shouldn't be able to upgrade absolutely everything. You should have been able yeah. to specifically pick. Yeah, you had to pick one of those trees and upgrade One of those it, trees yeah. and stick with it so that it made sense to have a group, a balanced group, and mm -hmm. everybody built a little bit differently, but that wasn't the case. Everybody just ended up yeah. using the same few powers yeah. by the end of it. Exactly, yeah. Right, just heals everywhere on yep. the wazoo while you're yep. fighting hordes of dudes yeah all right that being said the next few there's a few on here we didn't play like ori in the blind forest i would really really like to play yeah, but it I says that's that. the definitive edition that might have actually came out last year i think it Makes did sense yeah uh ea sports ufc 2 uh, right. i think that was a phenomenal game i had so much fun with that game i still play it Every now and again, I just jump back on there, and you know me, man. I got yep. the belt and held it for a while. <laughs> I just did. It yeah. looks great. Yeah, it looks insane. Oh, I've had like one it's one of those showcase games, games where I would I would be playing it, and people would come over and think I was just watching shit. Like our yep. friend Paris that I yep. work with came over that one day and was like, "Oh, who's fighting?" And then she was like, "Wait, this this is a game." <laughs> and I'm like, "Yes, it is," <laughs> and I am winning. <laughs> All right, so I think that deserves a nod. It had its its yeah. problems as well. Yep. I, I it won't win game of the year. No, but I, I think you sh it could go in contention for sports game of the year. I would agree if that's uh, a category. Uh, uh, I don't uh, know. It is yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, let's see. After that, da, 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 da. I don't think. Yeah, I'm not even going to talk about those ones. I don't deserve it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you don't deserve to be you talked about to be on talked our show. On this one, you motherfucker. In April, we'll skip down to April. Dark Souls three. That you, was a great game. It. Yeah, probably. I would say the the best Dark Souls game I've ever played. Right. Um, I didn't play Bloodborne. I don't know if it's better than that, but mm -hmm. uh, it's great. It's a little bit more forgiving. Right. If you haven't played a Dark Souls game, I would suggest to start with that one. Um, you don't need to know any of the other story really to get into it. Um, Lots of fun. It's great. If you don't like a lot of um, like co-op stuff, you just kind of like the co-op is cool in it because I don't like a lot of like random people in my games. But right. uh, when you're like dying over and over and over again on this one boss and you can like call this random dude to come and help you and then you guys are all like buddy buddy after it's it's pretty fun. I like yeah, that's pretty and then, special. And then they get kicked out of your game and then you yeah, can just do yeah, the rest. Yeah, yeah, totally. You can that's, do the rest by yourself. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. I like that a lot. Uh, it seemed a little bit easier than Dark Souls 2 because yes. I played a bunch of Dark Souls 2 it and is, I saw you go through it and you were looking like you were having an easier time than we were on Dark Souls yeah, 2. Yeah, that's why that's what I mean about more for giving yeah like it yeah. doesn't in dark souls 2 it i don't i think there is a point where it stops taking your max health away but i think it's like what 50 percent or something or it's no let's lower than more 50, man. Yeah. i don't know if there is a point where it I stops to be honest yeah with you. i remember being pretty low before yeah. i had to use like a human effigy yeah in, in this one there's just like uh a dead health uh. bar and a, and a living health bar so when you're dead it goes down to like 75 percent right. i think or or 80 percent I think uh, that was probably my least favorite aspect of Dark Souls 2. Yeah, how punishing it was. It was so punishing. Yeah, yeah, but this, I think that's also part of the point. It is. This one's a little point. bit less punishing. The, I mean, it's still just as hard uh, as far as the gameplay goes and stuff right. like that. Um, but yeah, it's just a little bit less punishing um, as far as like yeah, when you die right. and shit, which you're going to die. You're going to die a lot. Right. Um, but it doesn't feel so harsh. Uh, yeah. And those those they're not effigies in this one. Uh, they're like um, sparks, human sparks, or something like that. Um, Sweet, so, something. But uh, yeah, they're essentially the same mechanic. They're a lot easier. Yeah, exactly the same mechanic. But they're a lot easier to come by, and you can actually that's buy cool. them with souls oh, that's, and stuff that's like cool. that. That's so, cool. That's cool. Yeah. Um, let's see. Next on the list, Ratchet and Clank. I think is a dark horse. To be honest with you. Yeah. I loved that game. I haven't been that into a new newer platformer in a while. It was just mm -hmm. so beautiful. Mm -hmm. So it was well made, insane. man. It was like the watching animation. a Pixar movie. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Like they finally, like the original, they kind of 
did what the original Ratchet and Clank wanted to do, which was capture that kind of a Pixar quality yeah. to it. And they yep. fucking did it. Yep. They did it, man. And it looks so good and plays so well. Yeah. And it is essentially a remake of the first game. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, man, I really, really liked it. And I think I liked it maybe a bit more because I never experienced the Ratchet and Clank series on PS2. Mm-hmm. Whatever, for whatever reason, I was just above... Puberty age, and I'm like, Dad, for babies now. I need Grand Theft Auto. I don't want to turn people into sheep and yeah. Shit. And then I grew up, and I realized I like kid shit again. And uh, <laughs> playing Lego games all the time. And yeah, action. exactly. <laughs> and yeah, it was just it was so nice. Just those those cool levels where you're actually like flying an airship. And stuff. Yeah, that and, looked insanely oh, good. Yeah. Oh, and then yeah. it, the comedy, and it still holds up to yeah. today. It was great, man. I'm sure they rewrote some of that. They must have. I don't think they did rewrite really? a lot of it. A lot of it was already in there, to be honest yeah, with you. Because I, I played through the ori- like that's what I was gonna say. I liked it a bit more because I I played through the rem- remastered. Oh, that's right. Ones yeah. on the PS3, the PS3 like one, a yeah. year or two ago. Right. For for the first time, it was my first experience with them. I was like, oh, that was cool. I can see that was a really awesome game for a PS2. And then I played this, and I was like, oh, <laughs> fuck, this game's awesome. Yeah. Like that, oh, beautiful. <laughs> Right? Yeah, so I don't know. That gets a definite nod for me. But again, there's some big fucking games we've got to get to talking to yeah. yep. that uh, are just, yep. they, they blow them all out of the water, <laughs> realistically. Uh, let's see what else came some out. Some of them Hitman haven't even come out yet. Off. Alienation can fucking Hitman, what a let down. It was cool, but it can fuck off. Alienation was cool, yet, yeah, but not, it's not going to be a contender, Star no. Star Fox, no. No. Uh, I don't think any Wii U games are going to be All right, so let's get into May then. We got Battleborn. Battleborn fell off pretty quick as soon as yeah. Overwatch hit. Everybody was like, peace. Yeah, I think they compared them together, which was... Which was wrong? Which was wrong. Because one's a MOBA, one's a, one's a shooter. They're, they're two period. different games. Completely. Yep. Made by two different people. Yep. And yeah, they're very, very, very different. But, but I don't. it doesn't get a nod to me for Game of the Year candidate. No, uh, no, I'm, I'm cool not a MOBA idea. guy, honestly. So I, I couldn't really get behind it. So That's fair. Yeah. Uh, here's the, the biggest one. For me, one of the biggest ones, Uncharted Four. Yeah, that's that's a big one. Yeah, that's that's got to be. She's a biggie. Well, she is a biggie, and, and it's it was, only on the PS4. It was which very is weird. very well. It's not weird. It's their flagship. No, man. no, I don't mean like it's weird that they only had it on there. I mean like Game of the Year for things across like platforms. I mean, I I would choose Game of the Year games that were on PC or whatever. You know, like like I would say even like XCOM Two, a game that I would primarily say is a is a PC game. I would still consider that in you know in the running or whatever, but this game is only on the PS4 or whatever, right? right? And it's kind of funny that uh, that it's like honestly like right up there, probably top three. Um, well, I mean, every Uncharted my... has been Uncharted Two yeah. won Game of the Year from so many different publications, and it was just a you know it, it happens. Yeah. Uh, Halo has done it, you know. Yeah, that's that's true. Yeah. Gears of War. Uh, yeah. yeah, those but, flagship games. But in terms of this game on its own, Uncharted Four was a masterclass in single player. Uh, adventure games. It really was. It was the storytelling. Naughty Dog just knocks it out of the park, don't they? Yeah, they're just fucking ridiculous. They, they just man. do. They do what they do, and they do it so yeah. fucking well. Yeah. And and it had me guessing through the whole game. I was like, who's gonna die? Who's not? And I'm not gonna yeah. spoil anything. <laughs> but they took it in a direction I didn't even see coming. Yeah. No. Nope. And I was like, this is really fucking well done. Yep. And and again, the character interactions in that game with each other, phenomenal. Yeah, it's phenomenal. insane. Yeah. Uh, the 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 just, ah, everything about it. The four wheeling sections yeah. blew my mind, and that's yeah. not something I was I wasn't like going into the game going like, ooh, I can't, I can't wait to wait. go four wheeling. I wonder if there's gonna be a right? fucking like hook on the end of this. Yeah, fucking Jeep and then just that all the quips use. that yeah. Sonny keeps doing, like, ah, we shouldn't have sprung for the winch, yeah, because he's a cheap bastard. And <laughs> it's just so good, man, so good. You can't like you're trying to climb these these little hills, and if you you go under the mud, you'll just slip backwards, and then Sully laughs at you or. Yeah. And then you got to you got to find the rock to get some traction and yep. Ah, so good. Everything mm-hmm. that was just a little tiny aspect of the game. Mm-hmm. Right? There's so many little things. Multiplayer I hated. Yeah. But uh, it's never been a behind. standout moment for me. I had a lot of fun in 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 number 2, but again, I don't know if it was the multiplayer that I had fun with or because I had just met friends, a couple yeah. of good buddies and played mm-hmm. the living shit out of Danny and me had first started playing games in that in that game, right? Mm-hmm. So it, it definitely holds a very special point in my heart, that multiplayer. But I don't think it was because the multiplayer was f- somewhat phenomenal. 
Yeah, I don't think they've ever no. really been multiplayer orientated. I don't even know if they really wanted to put them in there in the yeah. first place. I think it was just kind of something that they had totally. to do. They didn't, they never have to. They just did. But in terms of games that I've played this year, that's top two for me. It's tied for first, yeah. probably. Ooh. Yeah. Um, let's see. What else is there? What Doom? else came out in April? Doom, Doom's yeah. a big one. Really good. Really great. Really. I fucking loved it. I played it all the way through, and it it's... Uh, I, I love that game. It's so old school in design that it was just so fun to go through. And yeah, it's just you go through one area and fight a horde of monsters, and then you shut down the thing, and then you fight another horde <laughs> of monsters, and you shut down the thing. Right. It's 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 but just like Destiny, sh- sort of, but ev- way faster, way <laughs> less, faster, way less more. Less Dinklebot. Metal. <laughs> yeah, that's it's true. The, yeah. It's, that game is metal as fuck. Metal as fuck. Yeah. You know, and then like the, the, just the music it. kicks in, yeah. and you're like, I'm about to fight some fucking yeah. demons. You know, there's a you shit know? ton of them coming. Yeah, and then <laughs> I, I've been. Just, I've been enjoying some of the snap map stuff I've been playing. There's some yeah, creative really shit cool, in there. Yeah. Yeah. Harvest uh, Doom and shit like that. It that's plays so well. Just f- It's like so smooth, the gameplay and the killing and the mechanics they have where if you use the chainsaw, you get ammo. And if you use the gore kills or whatever the hell are, right, yeah, they yeah, give yeah. you health. And yep. It's such a neat mechanic. And it's just those battles were intense as fuck. Because I played it on one of the harder difficulties. So it was right. pretty crazy. Right. And somewhat infuriating on some of the boss battles. Even though the last boss battle, I was like, "This is I got to film this. It's going to be... It's, I'm probably going to die a lot. I beat it on my second try. Hmm. Was he rather large? Was it a rather large demon? He was essentially a giant version of Krang from Ninja Turtles. Oh. Yeah, I'll post the video and <laughs> you'll see. Good. But it was, it was pretty cool. <laughs> uh, I, I really like the game. So I think it's probably to maybe top three for me of the year. But that's... I'm an old school motherfucker, and I grew up yeah, on yeah. Doom, and I grew up on Quake yeah, as my nostalgia. shooters, and my it's Twitch real. shooters, and they've been missing for a very long time. Yeah. And I didn't need a major story out of it. No. I liked how it was. They were big maps. It took me probably about an hour, an hour and a half to finish every level because there's secrets. Yeah. There's lots of little yeah. secrets yeah. everywhere, and just like in the original Doom, you hit a wall, and a wall comes up, and you're like, oh, I just look like a brick wall. Weird. You know, and Wolfenstein 3D yep. and all those things. They had all those little secrets in there, mm-hmm. and this one was no different. And so it really, really got my nostalgic boner going, mm. you know? Well, that's good. Yeah. I'm glad you had a boner. I that. had a boner the whole time I played that, <laughs> and then the metal music kicked, and I came. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> anyway, let's see. Scrolling down that list, the next big one we got to talk about is Overwatch. Overwatch. Yeah. I haven't been that excited for a multiplayer competitive game in quite some time. I played mm-hmm. them all, and I like playing them, but this one hooked me. Hooked me like no other one has in a lot of years, because it wasn't just... It was more about a team composition and a team-based thing, mm-hmm. and you had to figure out, okay, we have support characters, we have healers, we have a tank, what do we need? What character do I need to progress mm-hmm. this thing? And, and because you can switch characters on the fly, you can get into a sticky situation, and then when you die constantly, you can look back and assess, and you're like, yeah. which character has the abilities that I need and our team needs to progress and, and, and fuck up the other team's composition? <laughs> and that is probably the most appealing thing to me. It adds a whole new level of strategy beyond I've got a really fast shooting gun and 17 grenades that I can throw at you. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. and that's, that's the difference. I can kill you faster than you can kill me. Exactly. Yeah. That's the difference <laughs> to me, right? And, and in Battlefield, it's more like, oh, we have to have air superiority, ground superiority, and then we have to have troops that are actually attacking spawn points. Yeah. And, and that's how that goes. And, uh, but with this, it's, it's more akin to a Team Fortress-style game. Yeah, it definitely. Really is. Yeah. And, and, with more characters. And more I characters. didn't like the art style of Team Fortress 2 so much, so right. I never really got into it. Uh, but I played the living shit out of Team Fortress Classic. Right. Uh, it is the game that got me into competitive multiplayer and starting clans and all that kind of shit. And this game, Overwatch, made me feel that same feeling again that I haven't felt in decades mm-hmm. from a game like that. And it makes me want to just get right into it, even though I don't have the time for it, mm-hmm. really, with every, with life. Yep. With life. Yep. You gotta but play all the games. I gotta play, play all the game. games and I gotta have a, you know, a girl on the side <laughs> and I gotta hang out with friends and we formed a band and all this other shit that's going on in life. So clans are not feasible. No. But at the same time, it's one of those games that I know I'll be playing for a long time. A long time. Yep. For years to come. It's, yep. It will probably be my, my new Counter-Strike. 
yep. which is crazy because I've been playing Counter Strike since the very first edition, and I've been playing CS:GO all the way through. Played mm-hmm. them all. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'm, this I would hold up there with the upper echelons of competitive multiplayer shooters like Call, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Four, yeah, like the original Modern Modern Warfare mm-hmm. and Counter Strikes and the Team Fortress Classics and Team TF Twos. It's up there with them, and it's only been out for a few months. Yep. Which is fucking awesome. Yeah. Right? And Blizzard's it's made by Blizzard. So yeah. you know it's going to be very well supported. They're going to add maps. They're going to add things to it. And it will be supported for the next fucking five to ten years yeah. probably. Yeah. Right? It's a flagship title for them. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's a great it's a great game. It's really well made. It yep. feels so creamy just to, to oh. play around in that game. And I feel like anybody can just, just uh, jump into it. 100%. And, and have fun. And feel... Yep. And actually, like contribute meaningfully yeah. to the team. Like I, I'm not a great first person shooter guy or right. whatever, but I feel like I but do I've seen your diva moves and time. you do you do just fine, man. Yeah. Like it's great. You everybody can find a character they can adapt to yeah. and, and gel with. I'm versatile in the fact that I like to play a little bit of everybody. So I like I, I don't know, I switch based off of which mm-hmm. person I need or I feel has the right composition. Which yep. is fuck that's my favorite shit, man. That's why I really fell in love with games like Dota and stuff. Because it was, even though the gameplay was, it was fun for me. Mm-hmm. It was more about the team compositions and whether I could see who they picked and outpick them, right? And out strategize them in that sense. And that mm-hmm. was the coolest mm-hmm. part to me, which is why I'll easily say that Overwatch and Uncharted Four are top neck and neck for me in which one I want mm. to be. But I, th- I think that the the edge is going to Overwatch right now because I'll, I'll be playing it more, right. And for a longer period, I'm going to put more hours. Yeah, I mean, I I haven't even put in any hours in. But I don't know if that's four, fair. But... I don't know if that's fair though, because yeah, I couldn't say that that's the deciding factor. That's no. for sure. But I mean, like like one is is honestly like a never ending game that right. constantly changes every time you play it. And um, four is like an amazing end to the 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 Nathan Drake saga. Yeah, whether or not they will continue, and it looks like they will. No spoilers needed. But it looks like they probably will continue with the Uncharted franchise. Nathan Drake's done. Yep. He may be alive or dead. I don't know. I do know, but I'm I don't know. Tell you that. But <laughs> anyway, his saga's done. It's clearly yep. over. Yeah. And it was an done. awesome romp for a man that I spent a lot of lot of hours with on the on the last PlayStation PS3 in that last generation. So I feel like it was an awesome send off. Yeah, it was right. well done. Yeah, it was really well done. They even add a little bit of Crash Bandicoot in there in the start. Yeah, yes, they, they did. Had, they had everything. Yeah, it was, yeah, and that's a nod to Naughty Dog's good, original fucking flagship good title, legacy, legacy yeah. game. Yeah. Anyway, uh, what else is coming or came out? We're going into June came. now, so we're hitting there. Mirror's Edge Catalyst. So yeah, You've Catalyst is basically the big Juner. That's for sure. Um, Catalyst is great. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like it a lot. I like, I like how. Uh, I was saying this the other day, how much it makes you feel like one misstep me is like the difference between living and falling yeah, off life of a fucking, death. Yeah, totally. a fucking building and dying, um, which is really cool. It is, it is a little bit weird. Um, but so was the, the first game as far as like controls go. Um, and, uh, and being fluid. Um, right. I wish that they were a little bit crazier with the environments that you were in when you when you had to do combat because all the combat is based on momentum and stuff like that right um but it's a little bit hard to build up your momentum in in a lot of the areas because most of the time it's just like a big empty hallway or something right um but other than that all the traversal is insane all of like there's all these little runs with leaderboards and stuff like that that you can do um it's all open world Mm. uh i mean it's it's really good the art style is really crazy right um there's no guns, but yeah, you you do hand to hand fighting, which is a lot of fun. Um, the moves are cool, the skill trees are cool. It's it's a it's a well made game, but I don't think it's going to be my game of the year. It's it's well well done, but it's just it doesn't have that uh, that lasting effect for me. Right. Um, I, it's one of those games that I'll just flick on and, and run through it for for twenty thirty minutes. The story is is cool as far as I've gotten through it so far, but uh, nothing to write home about. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't played it yet. I'd, I'd like to because I really like the first one. But mm-hmm. yeah, I've seen you play it, and yeah, the combat looks janky, but it looks serviceable. Mm-hmm. And by serviceable, I mean it works well enough that it's yeah. not overwhelmingly shit. Yeah, it's not. It's not too bad. Right. Um, it's fun a lot of I the time. Feel times. like it lacks impact. 
it, that's when what i mean you people? can't you can't get the momentum right yeah. like your all of your moves should are stronger when you're running faster but you can't um you can't really move too fast yeah, in the like areas that they put you in button or something when you're about to attack like dash punch yeah or something right there, yeah yeah there is a dash sort of but it, it takes a little while it's, right it's more like a sprint all right well that's that let's see what else is this month doesn't look a mighty number nine to uh, nah mm. yeah. Yeah. uh we're going into July now, and I'd kind of like to end it without... I don't know. We haven't played any of the other games that are coming up, and we can save that for another episode. Sure. One we'll just on. Okay, so what do you think out of the games that we have played that have come out so far? What do you think so far? You've got, you've got your Overwatch and I've your got, Uncharted. I think, okay, so top three for me so far would probably be Overwatch, and then right underneath it would be Uncharted. Mm -hmm. And then right underneath that would be Doom. Right. I, I, that's mine. Yeah, those that that's solid choices. Solid what about choices. You? Um I would have to say Overwatch definitely number one. Mm. Um Need the list? No. Um Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what else I would put for, for my two and three though. I mean Overwatch is so far ahead of the other games that I've played through. Right. I mean, Uncharted is it would honestly be up there for me, but I haven't actually played through it, so yeah, I don't feel like I should put it on there. It. Yeah, I saw the, I did see the most of it. I mean, and it is but you essentially don't know how it a feels movie. Or controls. I mean, but I if you I know it one, feels you know exactly. great. Yeah, I know exactly. it feels great. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So I I don't know. I mean, I I'll I'll put that up there, but uh, yeah, I haven't played through it, so I do feel a little bit bad about that. Right. Um, but uh, yeah, those those two were were good. Uh, Firewatch? Yeah. Yeah. You know, Magic so Plank. far this year, I guess I would have to say Firewatch, yeah. yeah. I mean, for, for the a story, that's the best story I've played this year so far. I mean, Uncharted, I yeah. guess, would be a better story well, than there's, that. There's Far Cry as well. Far Cry. I would say Fire, I like Firewatch better than Far Cry. Cool. It, it grabbed me. It really grabbed me. Yeah, I, yeah, I went yeah, right totally. through it in no time. Um well, yeah. it doesn't take any time. It doesn't. Take <laughs> yeah, any you put time. more time into Far Cry. I'm telling you. Yeah, I'll tell you. Yeah, that's for fucking sure. But that's not fair. Yeah, you have to. You have to to get through the first two missions. I think it takes more time than, yeah. than the whole game of Firewatch. But uh, yeah, I would have to say yeah. I mean, so for so far, I would I would put them there. Yeah, I yeah. was going to go into one of the some of the later ones, but um, for ones that have already come out, I would think that that'd be the three. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I mean, we've had a pretty solid year so far, but. Let's be honest, the biggest ones are coming out soon. Mm -hmm. Should we yep. just go over the list real quick, just for fun? Sure, why not? And, and then when we play them, we'll, we'll talk more about them. Okay. Let's just do it. We'll go down into July here. July, we got the biggest one here is probably going to be... Well, Ark Survival comes out, even though that game was released a while. Survival we haven't World played World. it. I'd it's like to check it out, but I don't think that's going to be a game of the year one. Um, yeah, that looks like a pretty goddamn slow month. Pokemon Go... <laughs> Yeah, Pokemon, Pokemon Go is not going to be that yourself. fun. Um, Pokemon Go, fuck okay. yourself. We got August, uh, fucking No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky could be stoked. a big one for you. Stoked about that. Yeah, really uh, stoked. For me, Deus Ex Mankind Divided, I think, could yep. be a real dark horse because I really loved the last game. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. If we scroll down here into September, we got... Final Fantasy cool. 15. Final Fantasy 15 is a biggie. Oh. That's a biggie. It's going to be a good one. It's going to be a good one. Yeah. I hope. ReCore is, is super cool. ReCore looks neat, but I yeah. don't know. It's not not as, not as what I wanted it to no. be when I, when they first announced then it. Then we go down to October. Mafia 3, I think, is a real yeah. dark horse that could Mafia really 3 is gonna be punch intense. some people's butts in. Yeah. I really hope the story is just like off the fucking rails on yeah, that Yeah, dude. Thing. Totally. Yeah. Battlefield, Battlefield 1 as well. Battlefield 1, absolutely. Yeah. Civ 6. Could yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I mean, with the Civ games, at least in the last little while, they're kind of like... I don't know if I'd ever call one a game of the year. They're like, eh, when they release, and then they release a couple expansions, yeah, yeah. and then they're like, that's that's much better. Yeah, Titanfall 2 really could, be a, could be a pretty cool game. That's looking great, yeah. Yep. Yeah, me and my best friend, Mr. Robot. I'm stoked that's for that. It, yeah. Then we go into November and December, and we got Infinite Warfare, Call of Duty. Not going to be as good as Battlefield One, and I, I don't think you should compare them because they are going to be v drastically different. They've been vastly different um, for a long time. I don't think it's ever been fair to compare the two franchises. They feel so different. I'd be really stoked if there is some sort of VR component to Infinite Warfare. 
Because of that space shit. Because of that space shit. Any kind of VR shit. space, you're just all yeah. about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah totally. all about VR space. But uh, I don't think there will be, because yeah. it, it might even make you sick. I don't even know. Well, maybe <laughs> I'm dope. Dishonored 2. <laughs> That's kind of how I'm feeling, too. That tone pretty much describes how I feel about that franchise. Yeah, it's, it'll be fun. Uh, and, and I think people really enjoyed the first one. Uh, the people, like people who like that game, really fucking like that game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, I, I don't know. I don't know what's. They're gonna have to do something that's pretty crazy to get, to get me to game yeah. of the year. Dishonored too. That's for sure. Agreed. Watch Dogs too. <laughs> that looks really fucking cool. Yep. Uh, I think it looks pretty goddamn impressive. I can't wait to see the visual downgrade that Ubisoft likes. To yep. Do, but. Yep, that's for but fucking right now sure. It looks pretty fucking sexy. And I hope the story is much better than the last one. Yep. Um, but yeah, I mean, so far that looks fucking great. It looks like the best thing Ubisoft's got going yeah, for it this year. I don't think Steep will win Game of the Year, that's for sure. But Yeah, no, that's not going to happen. The um, biggest dark horse of the entire year. Certainly, yeah. South Park. Yeah. The fractured, fractured butthole. Yes. Yeah, yeah that's going to be really, really good. Yeah. Uh, I'm really excited for that. Uh, I, I've even started playing Stick of Truth just because I can't wait. Um, right. I'm. I'm. Yeah. I'm. I'm really stoked. The the new combat system looks great. Uh, everything that they've released on it so far looks cool. Totally. Uh, it looks like it'll be funny as shit. Oh, it looks fucking hilarious, man! Whoa. I can't wait to get my hands on it. Just the whole origin story about you became a hero because you saw your parents having sex. Yeah. That's yeah. hilarious. Yeah. I like how Cartman gets to make your origin story. Oh, fuck yeah. And they go back to calling you douchebag because you don't have a superhero thing yet. Of course. Super awesome. Yeah. But those are the games that are coming out that, after the ones that we've already played, will be contenders. Dead Rising 4 is coming as well. Oh, it's coming to PS4. That's weird. It's not Microsoft exclusive anymore. That's pretty exciting. Yeah. And cool. they're bringing Frank back. Yep, the original cool. guy. That's awesome. I hope that there's no time limit type st- stuff. That's on it. all that game is, of yeah, course. I that's hate it. Gonna be I hate it already. <laughs> you know they make that here in Vancouver. That's good. Uh, well, then I should go to have the. You word should go have a word, them, yeah. Listen, motherfucker. Nobody likes. <laughs> they time order limits. from Memphis sometimes. Yeah, cool. I'm gonna Sorry. beat them up. Sorry, guys. Beat them up emotionally. <laughs> anyway, you were saying. I was saying that those are the. That's the list basically of everything that's come out and things to come out. Yep. And that to is. recap, based off of what we have played so far, for me it goes Overwatch, it goes Uncharted, it goes Doom. For you, it goes... Overwatch, and Chart and Firewatch. Boom. Firewatch. Yeah. Fire Overwatch. Watch, Chart, Watch. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for joining us this week on the Dude Pool Games cast. As always, make sure you hit that like button and the subscribe button. Check us out on Facebook at Official Dude Pool Gaming and on Twitter at Dude Pool Gaming. <laughs> From us to you, we love you very much. And keep on gaming, homies. We'll talk to you later. See you guys.